be seen the flag way, way ahead of that. That penalty will take them from the 40 all the way back to the 25. Some of the clock ran off though, 119. That's what's bad is the uh, clock does not stop just because the flag has been thrown. It was apparent there was a clip in the backfield that that play was not gonna count, but Osborne did the smart thing, took it on down the sideline. Play was nullified with the 15 yard penalty for Riverdale. Only good thing on the penalty, the clock will not start until they snap the ball. 119, and the ball is back on the 26. Oh, for a fumble right now. Somebody could jar somebody loose. Ball on the 26. Davis calling signals. Takes it and runs his full back. We hit him pretty good. Donnie Self stood him straight up. He hangs onto the ball. Lebanon takes a timeout. That's their last one. The ball is on the 27 or 8. We've used our last timeout. Donnie, Denny, take it back there for 30 seconds and we'll come back. to 13. Riverdale facing a third and long about 28 yards to go for the first down. Check it about 20 yards to go for the first down. Lebanon I guess with no timeouts left Bruce they're going to have to go for the block punt. Well it's third down and we're not. It's minute and 12 and I think Riverdale's probably going to run it up the middle and then they're going to take a delay a game possibly and we're going to get the ball back maybe with something like 20 seconds if we get it. Davis calling signals, takes it quarterback sneak right up the middle to the 30. We don't have any timeouts. The clock will run. Let's see now. Bruce, I bet they take a safety. No, I bet they don't. One minute. They're way up on the 31, Tommy. I don't think they will. They could. He what? may be right. He'll have to run a long ways to get there. Their quarterback with the speed might just turn and head to the end zone and get him too. Oh, man. I think. And Riverdale's going to stay in the huddle. The clock is running. We'll count it down. 42, 41, 40. Flag should come out pretty quick now. 36, 35, 34, 33, 32. Well, he's letting it run pretty good. 31, now here it comes. 28 seconds. They'll penalize them back to the 26. Riverdale will punt from their 26. And actually, he'll stand on about the 14. He may run back in the end zone. I don't know. Let's see. We do have the punt block team on the field. Michael Drake. Let's check some of these guys. we got Michael Drake. We've got Skull Root up close, Joe Gardner. And back to punt is Davis. Davis standing on the 12. Snap his back. Here comes a block punt. We didn't get it. Corley will go way back and drop it. And go back and pick it up and then try to return it and we'll bring him down. No, he'll get away on the 20, trying to get to the sideline and he's down on the 18 yard line. Well, a great punt. And it went all the way back to the, about the 25 and Tracy lost about six or seven trying to return it. The clock will start now as soon as the chains are set. The clock will start with 14 seconds. We've got to hurry out of the huddle. If we want to get one playoff, we better hurry to the line. It's already started. 13, 12, 11. We're coming to the line. We're down four, seven, six, five. Last play of the game. Four, three, two, one. Incomplete. Football game is over. Riverdale has won it. 17, 13. Riverdale a winner. It has been a hard fought football game but Riverdale comes out on top let's take a three minute break Donnie Denny three minutes we'll come back with the final toes we'll give you the score Riverdale 17 11 and 13 full booster club thanks to Blue the Devils Bulls. lose it tonight by a score well I, I forgot the score 17 13 it's it's been the heat has finally gotten to me folks 17-13, Lebanon a loser tonight to Riverdale. Riverdale improves to 2-0 overall, 1-0 in District 7 AAA. Lebanon drops to 1-1 overall, 0-1 in District 7 AAA. Terry Stafford, if you're ready, we'll go to you. 
for the numbers. Our man with the stats, Terry Stafford. Thanks, Tommy. 11 and loses tonight, 17 to 13. Recapping the scoring, Riverdale got on the board first in the first quarter, 7.53 left. Maricus Williams, a one-yard run, capping a three-play, 22-yard drive. They had the extra point. They led 7 to nothing. Lebanon scored in the first quarter, 4.08. Zach Dirksen scored his third touchdown of the season, a five-yard run, capping a one-play, five-yard drive. Greg Triplett with the extra point. And at the end of the first quarter, the score was tied 7 to 7. The only scoring in the second quarter on the very last play of the half Riverdale kicks a 25-yard field goal. Sonifet Sizafath kicks a 25-yard field goal as intermission arrives, and Riverdale led at halftime 10-7. Riverdale gets on the board in the third quarter, 8-19 left. Again, Williams carries in from the one-yard line. Eight plays, 73-yard drive. Sizafath with the extra point. Riverdale led at that point 17-7. Lebanon comes back and scores late in the fourth quarter to make it a game. 2.35 left in the game. A 72-yard scoring strike from Greg Triplett to DeMont Stone. Three-play, 77-yard drive. The extra point was no good, and that was our final score. Riverdale 17, Lebanon 13. Statistically, in the ballgame, first team stats, Riverdale 161 yards on the ground, 45 carries. Lebanon held to four yards total on the ground. Four yards rushing for Lebanon on 17 carries. Through the air, Riverdale with 47 yards passing as they only throw the ball two times tonight and complete both of those. Two for two passing, 47 yards through the air for Riverdale. For Lebanon, 101 yards passing on eight of 16 tonight. One interception, one touchdown for Lebanon through the air. Total yardage, Riverdale, 208 yards, Lebanon, 105. First downs, Riverdale with 13 first downs, 11 on the ground, two through the air. Lebanon with only four first downs, two passing, one, two through the air. Turnovers, Riverdale with the one fumble, Lebanon turned the ball over twice, one fumble, one interception. Pen penalties, Riverdale, eight times, 73 yards. Lebanon was only penalized one time tonight, that for 15 yards. Individually, first for Riverdale, Davis, the quarterback, three carries, a net zero yardage on the ground. Simmons, 15 carries, 26 yards. Fletcher, five carries, 23 yards. Ricky Osborne goes over the 100-yard mark tonight, 18 carries, 104 yards. Williams, two carries, both of those were touchdowns for two yards. Gunter, two carries, six yards. 45 carries for Riverdale, 161 yards on the ground. Through the air, Davis was two of two passing, 47 yards, no touchdowns, no interceptions. 47 through the air, 161 on the ground for Riverdale, 208 for the game. O'Hound for Lebanon, nine yards on three carries. Triplet one carry, minus seven yards. Zach Dirksen carried the ball six times, seven yards. Reggie Quarter, seven carries tonight, minus five yards total for the game. Lebanon held to four yards rushing on 17 carries. Passing, Benji Oham, three of six, five yards, no touchdowns, one interception. Greg Triplett, five of 10, 96 yards, one touchdown, no interceptions, 101 pa yards passing on eight of 16 as Lebanon goes down to defeat tonight against Riverdale, 17 to 13. We'll be back with... Uh